This week, I'm painting up a Slaaneshian greater demon in honor of she who thirsts. That's right, I'm painting up my first greater demon. And I think I picked the most challenging faction to start with, Slaanesh, because of all of that supple skin. But I have a plan and really it comes down to a lot of those new contrast colors that we got because there are some colors in there that I think are going to be perfect for this Keeper of Secret. So without further ado, let's get her primed up and get to painting. For this week's project, I'm going to be using the new White Scars primer. I used this last week on my Orc Mega Boss and I really liked the consistency and evenness of the paint. And I'm hoping I get that exact same consistency today on my Keeper of Secrets. I like this so much more than the Corax white paints, which I've been using previously. Those ones I had such a huge problem with speckle that I really haven't seen with this one so far because it's made a little bit more like the Wraithbone and Gracier primers, which I actually did consider for this project, Gracier specifically, because of what I'm going to be doing on my Keeper Secret skin. But I think the pure white for some of the other colors is going to be a lot better. So that's what we're going with today. It's that time of the video where I interrupt to tell you about my Patreon and to let you know that we just added a Discord server, which all tiers get access to. So if you're wanting a way to chat with me, share with me your projects, or just tell me what board games you're playing, definitely make sure to check the link below and check out my Patreon. All right, now that she's primed up, we can go ahead and get to work on that supple, but what I imagine razor sharp flesh, kind of like a shark's. Now to do this, we first need to put down a base coat using opal skin, which is one of the colors that comes in the Army Painter skin tone set, which I now have used almost all the colors from it. And I have to say, I think it's a pretty solid set if you're wanting to experiment with a variety of different skin tones. Once we have this color down on not only her exposed flesh, but also the fabric that covers her legs, her horns, and her claws, we're gonna go ahead and move on to actually adding a little bit more of that purple classic Slaaneshi color to this model. And to do that, we're going to dive into those new contrast colors, specifically Dreadful Visage, because this I think was made for Slaanesh. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what GW had in mind for it, because it is a dusty, beautiful purple color tone that I think is going to work perfectly on my Keeper Secret skin. Now, we're going to apply this to most of the exposed flesh, as well as a little bit on her horns, but we're gonna keep it fairly pale. Once it has had plenty of time to thoroughly dry, we're going to move on to her claws before we finish up what we're doing with the flesh. And for her claws, we're also using another of the new contrast paints, Luxian Purple. I love the look of this color. When I saw it, it screamed magic energy to me, and I think it's gonna be perfect to put on this particular figure. It's bright, bold, and I think it's gonna bring a lot of attention to the claws, which I imagine is where she's doing a lot of her damage, slicing people up, or maybe even conducting a symphony. Now, once we have this color on her claws, and we're going to concentrate it a little bit towards the edge and allow it to bleed into the arms, we're going to also use it on her claw, or actually her horns. Now for her horns, what we're going to do is something a little bit different. We're going to wet blend this with Dreadful Visage to give us a little bit more of a clean, like just blend, honestly. It looks amazing. And frankly, I wish I had done this on her arms to give me a little bit of a smoother color. But I have a way that I can clean that up and add in a little bit of texture too to this model, which I think I really wanna do. And how I'm going to do that is with a final overall dry brush using Opal Skin one more time. This pinky color tone will add a little bit of that natural flush back in. It'll bring out some highlights. And it's also going to help me blend the Dreadful Visage with the Luxian Purple that I applied to the arms. I really love the effect of this, and I'm very pleased with how her skin's going. Let's hope I don't mess it up when I move on to her clothes. Hey guys, I just wanted to give you a little bit of a sneak peek as to what's coming next week because, you see, it's my birthday next week, and I might have bought myself a little bit of an early birthday present as a surprise, and they are... <gasps> the entire Joy Toy Astro Militarum Krieg models. I am super excited to open these with you, so make sure to tune in next week when I'll be unboxing the entire six-man team. All right, I'm very satisfied with how her skin's looking. We need to move on to her clothes, and I'm actually very nervous about this because I'm going to be using a lot brighter, bolder colors. 
but I felt like the flesh was important to get done first because it was more recessed and I feel like it was just the easier. So let's tackle her clothes. We're gonna start with the more sheer fabric that is on her legs, as well as the stockings that are on her horns. For that, we're going to stick with a sort of asymmetrical design because our lovely lady already loves asymmetry. Just look at her outfit. So we're gonna use two different colors. The first color we're using is Sigvald Burgundy. I love this color. It is definitely going to be in my top 10 when I make that new video. Expect it there because it's a, just a gorgeous color. I absolutely wanted a little pop of warmth in here, but thankfully Sigvald actually does lean on sort of a cool pinky color. So it didn't really fight the purples I've already put down. And I that's exactly what I was wanting. For the other leg and horn, we're going to be using Croxagore scales, one of the colors I've been very, very interested in trying, and I love it. Really, this entire section of working on her clothes is a bunch of colors that I just very much enjoy, and I just try these colors. They're really, really good. Once we're done with the Croxagore scales, we're going to move on to our main color tone, which is Leviathan Purple. Now, I know I used this a whole bunch last week when I painted the Orc. I don't care. It's a really great purple color tone. And this is Slanesh. She needs all of the purples on her. So we're going to be applying this to the main bulk of her outfit. This takes some time. I accidentally get some bleed over. Thankfully, because I let all of the other colors dry thoroughly, I was able to pull back out that darker purple tone that I was putting on her, you know, clothes off of her skin, which was traumatic. I almost freaked out, but everything's great. And honestly, the clothes are coming out wonderfully. I'm not gonna be too worried if I get this color on too much of say anything that's going to be metallic later on, because I'm gonna put a darker color tone under there as a base anyways to help that. And I don't really mind if it's a deep purple instead of a black. With that, that's gonna be it for this section of the model. Let's go ahead and talk about what we've done and we'll wrap this up. And here she is. Well, at least in the state that we're leaving her today in this episode, because we're gonna come back in two weeks and wrap her up. And I know two weeks might be a little long time to wait, but next week's my birthday and we have some other plans. But so far, honestly, I'm really pleased with how she's turned out. The skin is exactly what I want it to be. I did have to do a little bit of touch up after doing some of the purple cloth because I got a little bit of spillover, but it cleaned up fine and I just went back through my same steps. So it was all good. Next time, we're gonna work on her weapons, finishing up all the details and tackling that glorious head of hair, which I have a fun plan for. So be sure to check in for that one. Now, before I head out, I do wanna give a huge thank you to my patrons for making it so content like this can continue to happen. Without your guys' support, we wouldn't be doing this. So thank you very, very much. I've been Angela. I hope you have a wonderful hobby night.